Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July. So, you know, the timing is fluid. Keep in mind that this may not resonate that the day that you watch it. Okay, timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So we're just going to see whatever comes up, whatever comes up, whatever comes out of my mouth, comes out of my mouth. These cards are cue cards for me. I look at a card, and it starts coming out, and that's the way it is. So let's see what we got. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio for July? Hmm, what a great way to start out the reading. All tied up, stuck. Stuck. Now, that's a five. Fives are about power struggles. Fives are about conflict. Fives are about personal freedom. You can break free. You have the ability. But right now, you're, you're tied up in something that you're choosing to be stuck on or you're choosing to be tied into. You, you have a mouth. You know, you can, you can speak up. You can break free. You have feet. You can walk away. You can change your circumstances. But the only one that can do that is you. I'm going to show you what's on the bar bottom because it's pretty prominent here. It's time. It's time to take that journey. It's time to get to the other side. It's time to leave behind everything that doesn't serve you. You don't need to take a bunch of stuff with you. It's time to go. It's time for you to take that journey to the union that you are meant to be in, whatever it is. Okay? You need to have faith. You need to have trust. It's time to cross that bridge. It's time to take that new journey. Don't look back. No looking back. Take the experiences and leave the rest behind. I'm going to shuffle. I haven't used this deck in a long time. So I'm just going to shuffle it a little bit. This deck has not been used. I don't know why you guys are getting it, but... What do we have for Scorpio? Mm. Interesting. You're reluctant. This is reluctant to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach. Staying in a situation that is troublesome. Not mastering your feelings, you know, not thinking clearly. Swords are about thoughts. It's like you're holding on to some old ideas that need to be let go of. All they're doing is causing you anxiety and stress. You know, sometimes you have to uh, leave this stuff behind, like we just talked about. Mm. Opportunity for happiness, rebirth, renewal. But this is reluctance. Reluctance to take a new approach. Not seeing a situation clearly. Refusing to see something differently. That's what this is. And it's keeping you stuck. There's an opportunity for happiness. For extreme happiness. Ooh, this is beginning to realize. So you may be beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity for you. Somebody's been grieving over a loss for quite some time. You may have a new prospect, somebody that could make you really, really, really happy. Or something that could make you happy. But you're going to have to let go of some baggage. You're going to have to let go of your reluctance. Hard work pays off. I think that you guys are working very hard. I 
I think you're gaining respect. I think people trust you. You do have a new prospect now, don't you? We're going to look at that one in a minute, but you have somebody else, somebody that is better suited for you. It's like this angel is bringing somebody into your life that, you know, you probably did not expect. This is somebody that may not fit your usual description. This person doesn't look like what you expect them to look like. Now you got to make a decision. You've got this choice. You've got this opportunity. This person can help you to heal. This is also a card of consequences. You get to choose. Do you, do you stay in the situation that is causing you so much anxiety and depression and <laughs> stagnation? Or do you move on? This is, a, this is the choice. You have somebody here that is being brought to you from above. That is well suited for you. But it feels like you have your guard up. You're setting up this barrier. You're not letting them in. Or you're not willing to let anybody in because you're reluctant to see, you know, take that other approach. But somebody right here is beginning to realize that, you know, this could be a happy, you know, union. I think we have somebody here that is really indecisive over, you know, letting somebody new into their life. Now, this is meant to be. This is a divine connection with somebody that could make you very happy, but this is, a, this is somebody new, okay? This is somebody new. This is a new prospect. This could be somebody that you work with or somebody that you met through work. Could be somebody that you met through work. Might not be somebody you work with, though. It may not be. But this is uh, reluctant to work together, you know? Reluctant to make any compromises. Reluctance to cooperate. It's like you may be with somebody or, or dealing with somebody who's not on the same page as you. It's like there's, there's somebody is working really hard. to make something successful and you 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 could be dealing with another but now you have to make a choice but anyway it's back to this you could be in a third party situation you know where you're holding on to somebody who's not working with you and you're beginning to realize yes there is somebody better for me but maybe you've worked really hard to make somebody realize that they make you happy and it's just not coming to fruition and you got to let them go but you're not letting them go because you don't realize maybe you're starting to realize but you didn't realize that you got somebody better suited for you but anyway i know that's confusing confusing but mm. king of cups we got somebody here who's not mastering their emotions could be you could be could be that you could be dealing with another water sign. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with anybody. But we got somebody here who's not seeing a situation clearly. That's that's clear. Okay. Somebody here that is um, really refusing to take that new approach. Just not. Allowing love into their life. Very discontent, very discontent energy. Um, it's like this person really is letting their emotions get the best of them. This is somebody who is cold and emotionally withdrawn. It is. It's like, it's almost, you know what I feel like this is? It's like there's, somebody is blocking love, you know? You know, there's an opportunity to have a commitment, 
with somebody who is very well suited for you that could make you extremely happy. This person, it probably is going to come into your life this summer if you haven't met them already. If you are single especially, this person will probably come into your life this summer. You could meet this person at a church, at a gathering, you know, it could be a church gathering if you haven't met them already. Uh, there could be a festival, there could be a harvest festival or whatever. There's some sort of gathering here where you could meet somebody. Absolutely. Unexpected. This is unexpected and this is unexpected. This You could unexpectedly meet somebody who is perfect for you, but this person is not who you think it is, okay? It's not the one that you are wrongly holding on to, just in case that's the case. I mean, that is what, we got somebody here that is reluctant. It's like they're emotionally withdrawn from letting anybody into their life because they're holding on to something. They're stuck. And I know that in my last reading, I said that and I got a comment saying, I'm not stuck. Well, then this reading is not for you. We get these people who really don't realize that. Not every reading is for you. We have somebody here that is indecisive. We have somebody here that is stuck, holding on, keeping themselves trapped. When they have the ability to break free and move into happier times, something that could really make them extremely happy. You have an opportunity for extreme happiness here. But you got to let your guard down. You got to stop protecting yourself. You got to open your, got to let somebody love you. It's like that song, Desperado. Seriously. Let somebody else love you. Somebody that is worthy of you. You got to have faith. You got to have trust. You got to believe. Believe in the divine. This is a divine connection. This is a divine connection. You got an opportunity to connect with somebody that could lead to commitment, could lead to marriage, could lead to a lot of happiness, but you have to allow it. You have to give to it. You have to put in effort. You might have to make some compromises. You're definitely going to have to make a choice. So right here, this is the approach. We got somebody here that is reluctant to open their heart to somebody new. Right now, you got somebody coming into your life being brought to you from above. That is not what you expected. This person is not who you expect. You didn't see, you didn't expect them to come at this time. Whatever it is, this person doesn't fit the bill. You know, they don't fit the description. You didn't see it coming, and here it is. Presently, I think you're beginning to realize that, you know, it's time. It's time to move on. It's time to let go of this troubled situation. I think that you're beginning to realize that. But you are fearing disrespect. You are fearing that this person won't last or th that nobody will last. You are fearing that, you know, this person won't put in effort. Or you may be fearing that you can't give them what they need. That's just a fear. Externally, you know, you need to believe. You need to have faith. You need to trust. You need to, you know, open yourself up. Don't be afraid to go down a new path. You could have a Taurus. This is in your external environment. This this is a Taurus. You may have somebody that has been divinely guided to come into your life. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Leo. I don't know. Could be anybody. But I feel like you are being guided to really listen. Listen. This is listen. Hold up. Listen. Listen. You know. Listen to. Your inner guide. Believe in yourself. Believe in the higher plan. This can also be seeking guidance. You may be seeking guidance. You may be seeking answers. Maybe you've been asking. Maybe you've been praying. Maybe you've been praying for uh, a soulmate. And maybe you even put a name on it. Maybe you've been praying for this person, okay? And then you put it, say you've been praying for John. And the universe hears you. That's just an example. And the universe hears you. But the universe says, no, I have somebody better in mind. That's what this is. There's somebody better in mind. I got somebody better in mind for you. And it's hard to fathom. It's hard to fathom. So I, I just feel like you are being brought together. You have an opportunity this month 
to grow a partnership or a union or a love connection into a commitment. But this person is not what you thought. They're not who you thought. They're not the person that you thought you were going to be with. That's what I'm trying to say. I think for some of you, you're dealing with an individual who's emotionally unavailable. And you've been holding on to it. I think that somebody is going to come into your life unexpectedly and you're probably going to really think about accepting their offer. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we got here. You're going to be receiving a message from somebody that is crushing on you. Somebody that, you know, this person may give you butterflies. This person may make you, you know... feel good again I think that somebody has been in a one-sided situation where they were disrespected where they weren't uh, valued with a person that really wasn't giving but they've been holding on to this for I don't know what reason maybe because they were married to the person maybe there was a contract maybe there's legal issues I don't know but we have somebody here that has been stuck on a situation where there's no reciprocation and there's fear of getting into another situation perhaps for fear that oh if I get involved with somebody else then he's gonna he or she's gonna come back and reciprocate you know that's just a <laughs> way to keep yourself stuck Know your value. Know your. Definitely, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Taurus. Um, but anyway, you know, this is know your value. Know your worth. If you are the female watching this, you are a beautiful soul. Don't forget it. You have multiple options. This is the birth of a new life. If you are the male watching this, this is who you have coming into your life. This is, like I said, this this person, she nurtures, she cares, she's tender, loving, cares, she's abundant, she's, she'll do anything to take care of you. Anything. She'll give it her all. And she doesn't involve herself in third party situations. She's wise enough to know better. This is an older woman, probably with blonde hair. If you are the male watching this. If you are the female watching this, this is probably your energy. You know, you have multiple options. Know your value. Know your worth. This is an opportunity to start a new life. This is no joke. With somebody that, you know, will commit to you. If you have not met this person already, I just have to tell you, you might meet them through a church gathering. That's just something that came to my head strongly. Some sort of, it could be a wedding, could be a funeral, could be a picnic, you know, whatever. Um, could be somebody you work with as well, just saying. Um, this is a very beautiful individual. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. She's the goddess of love, and she will do anything. She's fully committed. Ooh, queen of pentacles, reverse. But she does know her value, and she will retract her offer if she is not respected and there is no reciprocation. So... We got somebody here who doesn't know their value and they have been holding on to a one-sided situation, putting in all the effort. That uh, sucks. Stubborn. We got somebody who has been very stubborn, holding on, possessive, not realistic. <laughs> I 
We do. We have somebody here who has been unrealistic. Working. Doing all the work. Stubbornly holding on. To a one-sided situation where somebody's not compromising. They're not putting in effort. There's lack of respect. <laughs> there could be another woman. There could be another person already. There is. There could be a third party situation here. And somebody's in denial about it. Just being honest. Either way, this is a message of love coming through. There's a message of love coming. Soon. Very, very, very soon. And it could lead to a happy commitment if you can let your, your guard down and you can get unstuck from whoever this person is that is not reciprocating. This person may be using emotional blackmail to keep you stuck. I think we have a new suitor here who is better suited for you and you got to wake up. you got to open your eyes. You need to know your value. You need to know your worth. Whoever this new suitor is, this person will love you and take care of you in more ways than one. But you got to stop being unrealistic. you got to be practical. This is a new, a new uh, door. A new doorway is opening. That it could grow into something big. And somebody has manifested it. They have manifested it through prayers. Uh, seriously, it's like they've been saying, saying their prayers or talking to the universe, talking to whoever, you know. And it's like they've manifested it. And I think they've manifested somebody new. You have a new doorway opening, Scorpio. And I think that you don't even see it coming. This person, you know, you're not going to have to do all the work. Whoever this person is that is going to come in, they're going to they're gonna nurture you. They're going to take care of you. But you have to let them. You have to be practical. You have to get real. And you need to know your value. Because we have somebody here that hasn't known their value. You are valuable. Now, the Page of Pentacles, this is about where somebody finds their focus to take charge of their life. And when you see the light in the situation, and this is seeing the light, so I think we have somebody here that has seen the light, you know, it's time. It's time for your delivery. It's time for your reward. It's time for your blessing. And you have a blessing coming. But you got to let the barrier down. you got to let this person in. Break free. Break free from the chains. Break free from the, from the rope that has you tied. Cut those cords. Because you have an opportunity for extreme happiness and bliss. I think it's very unexpected. You may have a Taurus. You may have a Gemini. You could have anybody. I say Gemini because of the lovers down there. You have Taurus a few times. You could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. There's strong earth and water here. It's an earth and water kind of thing. This is an opportunity to go down a new path that could lead to something. <laughs> Committed. Long term. Abundant. I think that this is going, whatever is going to happen, it's going to, uh, it's, it may be a little shocking because you didn't expect it. You didn't see it coming. You may even have tears. You may even have tears of joy. Maybe this person helps you to break free. They help you to heal from this lack. They help you to heal from this trouble that you have been in. Anyway, you're receiving, you're going to receive a message from somebody that probably wants to build something with you. And in all reality, this person has beautiful intentions. 
This is an opportunity to break free and let go of that baggage of the past. So yeah, I think you guys have a new opportunity being presented to you that is very, very, very well suited. Be prepared to receive a welcome message from somebody that is going to lead you down a new path. It's a beautiful one. Trust me, it is. Good luck.